Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mortal Kombat 1 story mode. This is part 4 of my playthrough. Uh, we're about to start using Reptile. Let's check out his special moves. So he's got Acid Spit, which will be his projectile across the screen. It used to be straight. I wonder if it still is. Uh, dash Attack. So that usually he's like a dashing shoulder attack. If it's the same, I guess we'll see. Force Ball. Kind of a unique move uh, where he throws out a rounded green projectile and it creates like an explosion. So sometimes it could do like a juggle state. It has in previous games, and I'm curious if it will in this one. It even looks like you can do different speeds depending on if you tap a direction. Death Roll, I don't know what that would be. He used to have a slide similar to Sub-Zero, but I guess they've changed that now into a roll. Back, forward, circle. His invisibility is down, up, circle. There's no re reason to use it because I'm fighting the computer. The computer ain't going to care. It, ain't, it doesn't need to see me. <laughs> you see? Falling Fangs. Uh, down back circle in the air okay I don't know what that will be I guess we'll have to try it and see what that is okay uh, did it not say back forward square did I read it wrong oh I did read it wrong never mind I love this shit oh my god yo that looks crazy oh my god Transform! Whoa! That's like a gator roll. That's exactly what that is. That's a gator roll. So it knocks back if it hits. Jeez! It just transforms constantly into lizard form. Did it not say? Do I? I already forgot his move. Did it, say, did it not say quarter circle back? Oh, plus circle. What the? It was an overhead. I blocked low and it hit me. <clears throat> ah, next snap and a slow. Oh my gosh, you killed me with that. Dude, I did 50% damage. Holy crap. Whoa, so he, he teleports and slams in midair. That's interesting. It's a little on the slower side, though. <clears throat> how about dash attack? Right. I said, how about dash attack? There. You know, it's very similar to how it used to be in the previous Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's very similar. That's probably a combo ender. Um. So, oh, I didn't try the force ball yet. Yep, it's exactly how it used to be. Oh, this doesn't have much range, though. Whoa! What the hell? How did I do that? Look at that. That's pretty cool. Let me pass. I gotta figure out some combos. Oh, there's the launcher. Wasn't wasn't good. Triangle. Okay, you keep hitting me, so I can't try the combo. How do you? Oh my god! Every button I push down. Really learn much. I was trying to do the combo, and she just kept punching me in the face. I like the looks of Reptile, but I would have to practice. Oh God! Eat your rib cage. I would have to practice with him to get better. Right now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Know that I am sorry for disturbing Sundo's peace. Ugh, ludicrous. No. <laughs> Princess, no. You could be hurt. <laughs> Oh, she's fighting. Insurrection from a Zateran? This is a day I never thought I'd see. You misread my intentions, Princess. Sadly, I've no time to explain them. Fight! Oh, it knocks way back way too far to be of any real use. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't even prune one after that, so that's definitely not a good combo. Uh, it launches, but knocks them so far back, it's not even effective. Maybe with, Okay, maybe one of these X combos. Again, that one knocked forward. Whoa! How do I even do that? I don't know how I'm doing that. That tail move? I, I don't know how I did the tail move. I want to do it, but I don't know how I'm doing it. Uh. It wasn't leg shot. How did I do that? I don't know. Croco Delay or Delay. Maybe it's just X? Maybe just standing X? Yeah, he doesn't really have anything with circle. See that? He doesn't have anything with circle. Oh no, his combos don't seem very good. You're ready. You fight tenaciously. See, his combos knock back, so you can't do anything after him. So. Can't even spit spit after. Oh, his spit stinks. His spit is very slow, incredibly slow. That is just standing. Okay, just standing next to that move. It's a giant Dude, spinning sweep with his you tail. You know the truth. Hmm. He seems totally new. He's very different Take from the, the other characters go. or the other versions My of Reptile. Not with her or you. It is now that you've laid your hands on her. I will take your life as punishment. Fight. Wow. There you. So you need the meter burn. The meter burn version stays on the screen. The other ones don't. How do I feel this combo? Oh, it's, it's okay. Jeez, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, I wish completely. That's terrible. Are you prepared that that slam move kind of misses, like, the air slam. I gotta figure out the distance for it, because it grounds them, and we probably just run certain moves. I don't know how to use it effectively. But the three hit count went to slide, but you can't, like, two and one it. Oh, did you see what I did there? I did three hit, and then immediately threw the ball. Right there, you can definitely do a all the combo there. Oh, that's a that's an interesting move. Oh, I did it though. You know that? I don't know how I'm doing that. I haven't hurt the princess. I have to mess around with them. Need not continue. Gator roll is probably a combo finisher. I would think. So is this problem. What it is is she was in a combo that's an auto combo. By the way, I just noticed she has Chameleon as her partner. Did you see that? I, I just noticed that. I'm glad she didn't block it so we can see it. You know, you eat your rib cage, right? Yep. Eat your rib cage. I wonder if Chameleon is a cameo. My sentence is suspended, Umgadi. So, found you. 
Oh shit. <laughs> he runs away like a bitch. Worry only about the Earth Realmers. This is one of my movies. We get saved by a plucky comic sidekick. <laughs> They are the Pokey Comic Sidekick. Today, we die together. Not comic, but definitely plucky. Fangora. It's unlike Shen Tsung to leave loose ends. Now that I'm free of him. I'll reveal your conspiracy to all of Outworld. <laughs> You'll do nothing of the kind. Dead men tell no tales. Fight. That's the launcher count. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Got some basic stuff. I'm comboing into the launcher. It will make your defeat that much more. Oh, you can do it twice. You can actually do two juggles, but the second juggle doesn't bounce them into you anymore. the wrong way. It's gonna hit. Goro in the fatal blow. Look at this. Oh no! Damn! That's pain. Any last words? Now's the time. Interesting move. Standing X. Yeah, you can keep going. Okay. So you could do double, you could do two different of the ball launchers in a combo. Silence me, General. Interesting. Gotta try that too. I think him and Baraka are my favorite so now. far. Oh shit, it's Motaro. There's some extras wandering on set. Ooh, what's going on? Was those asleep? Chang probably. Like, what the fuck did you do? You asshole. Johnny, Kenshi, Kung Lao, you have safely returned. Safely? Did you see Kenshi's missing eyes? By the Elder Gods. Uh, we had a run-in with Princess Melina's inner demons. She took my sight, but Sento, in its own way, restored it. I am glad that Sento bonded with you. Though my hope was that the means would be different this time. This time? This time. See? Forgive me, Kenshi. I misspoke. <laughs> he just want to tell them about the past. The monks will tend to your wounds. We found Shang Tsung, but he got away. I can see why you're twitchy about him. He's neck deep in some serious shit. Rest. <laughs> then we will discuss. 
Can I also get a martini? Shaken, not stirred. Uh, I'm sorry. Meet the newest members of the Earth Realm players. We wouldn't have made it back without them. Astra and Sizos. You know us? As Earth Realm's protector, there is much I know. Do you also know of my former master, Quan Chi? He colludes with Shang Tsung. A new deadly alliance? Yep. Deadly Alliance 2.0. All of you. You must tell me all you know. Ah, Jesus, those are five hundred dollar glasses. Sunglasses. That's the so cover of the martini. The Shang Tsung and Quan Chi again conspire against Earth. What did you think was going to happen, Quan stupid? Tsung I mean, he's the worst Kenshi god ever. Should not be possible. You witnessed how I rewrote history. I gave the sorcerers meaningless lives. They should have never gained power, let alone joined forces. And your work was flawless. Such would their lives have been, had someone not interfered. Interfered? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, there you go. Both sorcerers were visited by this person. It is her intervention that bent the arcs of their lives. Who is she? Take a wild Unknown. guess. Her identity has been obscured from the hourglass. Who could have that power? Is it Kronika? Somehow resurrected? That's what do you think? Impossible. Titans once destroyed cannot be revived. Okay, so who is it then? That someone else must have survived the previous timeline. Someone with a vendetta against me. Huh. It is the only plausible theory. So they're saying it's not Kronika. All right. You must determine its validity, Gears. The fate of the realms may depend on it. Meanwhile, I will sit here and do absolutely nothing for several How more hours. We expected to linger. Patience be hung. Sub Zero out of nowhere. Of okay. attention. Were he here? Father would advise us to wait without protest. So they're all brothers, now huh? He's gone, and I am Grandmaster. Now wait a minute. That that definitely is not in the original Mortal Kombat plotline. In the original plotline, they were all from different uh, clans, and they were mortal enemies. I remember, like that was the plotline: is that Scorpion wasn't he killed, and that's why he went to hell, and then he became a demon, like he was betrayed or something like that. And then the first Sub Zero gets killed. And then in Mortal Kombat 2, the, or the, the or 3, the next Sub-Zero is his his younger brother or something like that, right? So, they're all... Compl this is way rewritten, that they're all brothers now. They were never brothers in the previous games, from my, my knowledge. So, he totally rewrote everything, uh, Liu Kang, when he re redid the Dimensions. His teachings did not pass with him. They should still guide us. Guide us, yes. Shackle us. No. We can't abandon tradition. Mind your place, Tomas. Father may have taken you in, made you one of us, but your blood will never be lit. So he's away. not their brother. He was adopted. <clears throat> Smoke. Okay. Lord Liu Kang can see you now. It is about time. Damn, he's very pissy. And he also talks with a gravelly low voice. He smoked marbles every day Shang Tsung is here. At the ruins of Ying Fortress. His soul stealers are already under construction. You must destroy them and capture Shang Tsung before either can inflict harm upon Earthrealm. We will leave immediately. And we will join you. You are not Lin Kuei. You would only hinder the effort. Raiden and I are more than. We're trained differently. It takes years to master our ways. You and Raiden have my full confidence, but you are needed elsewhere. Go to the Wuxi. The monks must prepare you for war. Must be trained even harder. So this sounds like the filler arc to me. I don't know about you guys. The only way in is over the walls. <laughs> we can skip a few episodes we of the anime here, get to the meat at the end. Section before attempting an ascent. Finally, we face a worthy foe. Victory will bring us glory. 
glory. We fight for duty. As our father's ghost possess you, all I hear is his voice. We must honor his vision, Bihan. Vision is what he lacked. He was blind to our superiority. We settle for defending Earthrealm when we could help lead it. Mm. Our clan doesn't govern, it serves. That is our past. It won't be our future. Oh no! Delusions of grandeur! <laughs> Carlton Jr. says, honestly, the Ninja and Special Forces plot lines were always filler. I guess, even in the previous games, they were always kind of like, you're right, they were like in between everything else. <laughs> the easy way. Have a fucking rope, dummy. That's the world's strongest hand knife. Literally. The world's strongest hand knife. How the fuck did it not break? Damn, this is an annoying bitch. As a boy, I heard tales of battles against your kind. I had fought them tall ones. All Earth Realmers will soon know of Eternus. Oh my god. Earth starves, and it's coming here to feed. <laughs> All Earth Realmers will know of Eternus. My tribe starves, and it's coming here to feed. Wow. They really, uh. Meh, meh, meh. Meh, 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 meh. Meh. Everyone else is like, yeah, we must fight for Earthrealm. I will take over Outworld. My tribe needs help and we're coming here to see. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. Anyway, I do know a little bit about Sub-Zero because he was in the beta. So I know a few of his moves. Uh, not all of them. And I didn't use a lot of them. Like Deadly Vapors and stuff. I didn't really use those. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> Coming here to feed me. He thought hiring me would get more free cheese to buy the game. Think you've ever heard me? <laughs> wow. Think again. A low kick. Dude, that missed me. That was it? That was the move? That is the move. I guess it freezes their legs, but I'm not sure how it works. I guess it freezes them in place. Okay. Oh, I'm to burn it so I can combo after. You will end this day hungry. Is this? We are charged with defending the fortress. None will escape us. Oh, uh, well, you got your ass whipped earlier. Test your mind. Oh shit! What are we doing? Again with it? It's the same. It's the same thing. Same test your mind from earlier. You they change it. She's creation. Liu Kang warned about you. I had hoped for the chance to battle your dark magic. Fight. Is it ice cold? Well, the full screen, huh? I don't 
want that, I want a dad. I Slow, that shit will never combo. How do you do the uh, ice? Oh, it's with the edge with ass square. I see. That's the wrong button. Oh, I thought he would land on it. Get them? I don't know if there's any way to get them to land on the ice clone and extend the combo. I'm trying. You are not so fearsome. You're both unharmed. We are, brother. Good. After our years of idleness, it pleases me to again face combat. I will be pleased when we complete our mission. So it looks like that ground slide, or excuse me, the ground freeze is no longer a full freeze. It just like slows them down for like a very small amount of time. It looks like they can easily get out. I don't know. Be careful with what you're handling. We have no time for mistakes. So there's all the soul siphons. Look how many they made. A ton. Jade, I'm glad we are having a good time. Continue working. I must oversee production of the remaining basins. So what happened? He lost his pigmentation and that's it? it didn't weaken him at all. He's fine. That's Quan Chi. The other sorcerer Liu Kang described. Kawhi Liang and I will capture him. Stay here. Do not let them activate the Soul Stealers. Stealth mission, let's do it. Don't make any noise. Hold your breath. A doubloon. What's he doing? <laughs> Why what are we doing? Why are we waiting? What's going on? There will be spoils in this war. Let us win it first, brother. Why is there money all over the floor? <laughs> what is going on right now? Why is there money all over the floor of this fort? I'll just leave that there. We'll clean it up later. Seriously, this war. Will this be completed on time, Quan Chi? Yes. Our benefactor's guidance has proven most helpful. If we break it, we'll halt their construction. Agreed. This is the best idea. Oh my god, an army of skulls! <laughs> Shang Tsung's glowy and, and neon in this one. Lin Kuei, we have been expecting you. Were you told also to expect defeat? <laughs> this you told you have no horrible breath? Way. Need some banaka. <laughs> Looks like there may be a way to combo after that, but I'm not sure.
gotta be a way to get the ice to combo, I would think, right? Maybe not. Maybe they prevent it. Maybe they prevent it purposefully. I'm just guessing. The clone punch. It's weird because the clone punch is kind of like a regular projectile, honestly. It really is. Like this. That's more like a projectile. This is free, but this is like a regular projectile. That's kind of interesting that he has that now. And it combos. Okay, it's interesting. How dare you? Oh, look at that. I just got frozen in place, though. Yeah, see, that's a pretty good combo. So I think I think some girl will be all about high low mix up because that the two hits I'm doing with that hammer is an overhead. But then he has a Your low combo as well. So I think he's all about high low mix up. <clears throat> so by the way, hold on. Thank you. I actually received a contribution. Thank you so very much. I got a ten dollar tip here from uh, Yorichi saying I'm enjoying your MK1 stream. Thank you, Yorichi. I really appreciate that. That's actually the biggest contribution of the night. Let's get that up on the leaderboard there. Thank you, Yorichi, for a $10 tip. I'm glad you're enjoying it. The, the story's pretty good so far, in my opinion. Not disliking it at all. In fact, really enjoying it. So, hope that you are got you guys here live are enjoying it. Hope those watching on demand are liking it. Uh, again, this is the fourth straight Mortal Kombat that has a pretty solid narrative mode. So... <clears throat> Okay. Oh, look out. Look out, Scorpion. Oh, God. Buried in gold. Now swim out like a duck. This is so unnecessary. What I can offer you, you won't decline. Duh. He says, I know you're greedy, Sub Zero. You surrender. I am not interested. Fight. Oh, he turned to old Shang Tsung. What's the difference? Is it a stance change? I wonder if it's a stance change. It probably is, huh? Oh, shit. You fucker, I went to juggle and he recovered. Oh, wrong button, of course. I don't know if she has a cameo. There's no point in even pressing a cameo. You know what they are. And you'll not know unless you practice in like training mode. You'll never know what any of the cameos do. So they're completely pointless in this mode. Oh, I did jab kick and come out. That's what I want. I didn't get it. There's gotta be a way to get this to combo or, or just something effective. I really feel like. Also, doesn't he have an aerial move? Hold on. He does. He has an air and ice dive. Move. Oh, whoa. Okay, hold on a second here. Look at that. I did a. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm, not, I'm definitely not using this protection at all. He's got good combo. I, had hope I for feel. A worthier enemy. Your soul is mine, said Jade. Fatality! Oh, come on. I'm gonna give him a fatality. No fatalities allowed. Ouch! And knocked out. You two idiots. Two jobbers. Well, time to execute them. Oh well. Perhaps now you wish to entertain my offer. How would you know what I value? We are strangers to each other. I know that you wish to break free of Liu Kang's control. To gain your clan unrivaled power. I offer the means to do both. Ignore him, brother. He promises only corruption. Grandmaster, I am sure you're asking yourself. Can I afford to trust a man I have never met? 
But the true question you must ask is... Can I afford not to? Hmm? Who made him the in charge anyway? Sub Zero's not in charge. So here's the hourglass, I guess, which they were talking about earlier. This is the same hourglass from MK11. Okay, we Civil War, now we're Scorpion. Alright. Scorpion's crazy with the, like, from the Once training mode, or the Earth tutorial. He has crazy chain combo. You will be combo. free to remake the Lin Kuei in any manner you see fit. Bihan, don't listen! We must stop them, not- Silence, Kuei Liang. But brother, Silence, obey bitch. your grandmaster. Can you win this war? Soul Stealers are deadly, but they're not enough. You only think so because you don't understand their true purpose. Explain. Emperor Ying built this fortress during one of Earthrealm's most turbulent periods. Enemies beset him on all sides. He built a great army to protect his empire. He built a second one to protect him in the afterlife. This is Emperor Ying's dragon army. What, the statues? The famous statues that are actually really in China that they found? Is that what it's supposed to be? Or at least supposed to be representative Impressive. of that, I think. But does this history lesson have a point? These statues were constructed and enchanted by the great mages in the Emperor's court. Yeah, it's the Terracotta Army, exactly. That's what it was called. Or that's what it still is. It still exists, right? They are animated by fragments of souls. Once alive, they fight tirelessly, unburdened by remorse or pity. Supposed to be it's inspired by the terracotta army plot line. <laughs> As our ally, you will be given command of several battalions. Few in Earthrealm could then resist the Lin Kuei. By the way, we're having a smoke. <laughs> I just realized he's been gone. Behind. Oh shit, he's turning. How could you? Father would turn in his grave if he saw this. He was a doddering old fool. He did us a favor having that accident. And I was right to let him die. Let him die? Uh, you said you tried to save him. You could have you saved lie. daddy. Because you couldn't and still can't face the truth. Father had doomed the Lin Kuei to mediocrity. Now we will achieve greatness. So basically, so this Sub Zero is the one who died in the original plotline and became new Cybot later, right? So that's why he's evil, because this is not the uh, Sub Zero that we know from later Mortal Kombat that was a hero. This actually got, he, he was a villain to begin with. He was kind of evil. Yep. How, what broke his head with a step? Jesus Christ, pretty good step. Doubt. He's about to kill General Shell now. Scorpion's badass, man. <laughs> he is a feisty one. 
Are you going to blather or make yourself useful? <laughs> this Earth realm must be neutralized. Fight. All right. So, based on what we did earlier in the uh, tutorial, he still got his spear. He's got this move called Blazing Charge. But the one in the air that you want to use is this one, the snag. This, this like, is really good in the air. You can do, like, a, a, a combo in the air, and then it pulls them towards you, and you can continue your combo, <clears throat> from what I saw. But then I think on the ground it has a different property, right? And then he also just has, still has the teleport. Devouring Flame. I don't know what that is. Oh! Okay, he still has that. He can attack you right through it. He didn't even give a shit. Look. I guess that's damage over time, then. What it looks like. Come on, give me something. There we go. Oh, there's the launcher. See that? And I think if you do the meter burn version, it, you can continue your combo you after. You corrupt Bihan, but you won't corrupt me. Yeah, see, I could have kept going there. I summoned the Fire Elemental. Right. Oh, I should have teleported. It probably would have worked. Yeah. Oh, a new timeline. I just got a trophy. I don't know what that one's for. Complete 50%. Oh, we just did half of story mode. Okay. Neither of you are up to the task. Do not let Kwai Liang escape. Whoa! That was neat. Not sure that's realistic, but okay, it was neat. Now I wonder, because this could definitely be a twist, where they talked about this before, that they were going to do that, and it's all staged, so that later on Sub-Zero can betray them. So I wonder if that's a twist or not. Well, I guess we'll see. Pollutants impact efficiency. Like barnacles on a ship's hull, they create drag and reduce speed. <laughs> I see. So... Sneaking up on me, son. Oh, double Look at that. He put out the fire with a so watery blast. you decline Shang Tsung's offer. I assume your brother has not. The sorcerer tempted him into forsaking his oath. He can be convincing, can't he? Spurning him is a grave mistake. Fight. <laughs> I don't know what this force field does. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Dang it. Look at that. If I had done the teleport, the, the Breeder Bird teleport, I might have to continue the combo there, too. Oh, 
That, okay, that barrier he put on stops projectiles, so it bounced the my chain off of it. Okay. Oh, good night, Willa. What have you done? It's water JP, says Shug. Yes. Oh god, this fucking asshole again, Darius, or whatever the fuck his name is. I like Havoc. I don't know about Darius. <laughs> Who is this guy? He's so out of place. He totally doesn't look like he's in the game. Oh no, so they turn him into a demon. Oh shit, test your might. More mashing? Literally, it's the same minigame again. I should have let him die to see if he Oh shit. Well, that's how Havoc lost his face. Screaming continues. I am not finished. The... For burning me, you'll burn in the nether realm. Fight. Oh shit, run button. I was in the corner, I bet I could continue. Dang. Oh, I couldn't. Maybe you have to do the computer and teleport the camera after it. It looked like it was too slow to continue after that. Yeah, it's too slow. Let me try the meter burn for again. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you can't combo after it in this one. Dude. He's flying around his fucking body. <laughs> Teleport seems really slow. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to finish combo. That's. I gotta go into you know later training mode and practice. This is like against my combo ability though. Easily smothered. Split up. We must find him. Darius. The character makes no sense at all. Darius. You think he'd be working for like the special forces? He wouldn't be He's an outworld. Us. We're all in I'm glad you're having fun, Jane. Letting father die, forsaking Earthrealm, he's abandoned all reason. I knew Behan's frustrations ran deep, but I never thought they could inspire such madness. We can't let his corruption spread. Whatever it takes. Oh, uh, there's I'm someone right you. behind you. Thank you. We may not share blood, but we are brothers. You guys are the worst ninjas possible. Do your oaths me Fucking nothing. standing right there. It's your duty to obey my will. Not when it betrays Ling Kuei principles. We won't sacrifice them to serve your ambition. The fight. fuck now he has the scar that sub zero had? This brother. Oh wait a minute. I want no because Scorpion is sub zero now. Get it? In the original Mortal Kombat plotline, the first sub zero dies and becomes new Saibai. His brother becomes the new sub zero and he has that scar. So now that is Mortal Kombat 3 Sub Zero, but now he's Scorpion. This plot line is something else. Part of it! You pervert all that it means to be Lin Kuei. Fight. <laughs> No matter 
what I do is the same fucking cameo. I'm trying to do other directions and do the same one every time. I don't know why I'm holding forward and back and stuff doing the same one. So maybe that fire elemental is just the same no matter what. Oh, I wanted my spear, which probably would have worked. It didn't come out. You disgrace our family and clan. Oh, I wanted the spear. God damn it. Stop jumping. Oh, I didn't get it. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can do anything after that. Which is weird. You always couldn't do anything. You could do combos after that, and now you can't even do it anymore. Unless it's just really slow and you have to do master the timing. I don't know. You are my grandmaster no longer. Bitch. What are you doing? Once he's exposed, won't you be made grandmaster? You forget Cyrax and Sector. Their loyalty to Bihan is absolute. Oh, really? The sooner a bet is corruption than follow me. Huh. We must chart a new course. One that both honors our father's legacy and serves Earthrealm. Help me. We can't leave him here to aid Shang Tsung. So kill him. I wonder, are Cyrax and Sector robots in this one? Or are they still ninjas? If you remember the MK9 reboot, they were ninjas, but then they got cybernetic during the game. So I wonder what, what they are in this one. How did you achieve this, sorcerer? Gee, Liu Kang, maybe if you didn't sit on your ass all day, you would know. You arrived not a moment too soon, Kiris. What have you learned? In scrutinizing Shang Tsung's first meeting with his benefactor, I made an important discovery. Her life essence, the very time crystals that make up her being, are not of this timeline. Not of this timeline? How could someone from a previous timeline enter this one? That cannot happen. Huh. If that cannot happen, then what has happened, Kiris? There are no other timelines than those that have come before. All evidence points to the presence of a second timeline, which exists concurrently. Oh with ours. no, it's a multiverse. Two timelines side by side, moving forward simultaneously. Oh no. Never in a billion lifetimes have I seen this. But that does not make the other timeline any less real. There can be no doubt that Shang Tsung's benefactor hails from it. Oh no. Why did they have to go with the multiverse timeline and copy Marvel? Really? It's it's the thing is, here's the thing. Multiverses have been used for a very long time. Alright? Comic books have been using multiverses for I mean, you know, DC, Marvel, freaking image comic. Like every major comic have always used the multiverse. But it's too prominent right now. You understand? Like, when Marvel just did a million movies based on multiverses, it's too prominent. I feel like going with a multiverse plotline here is just too common of a thing. And I don't feel like it's original. And I'm going to be honest, I think it's kind of going to suck if that's where they're going with the rest of the plot of this story. If it's just a multiverse, we've already seen this a million times. It ain't going to be as good, I don't think. Uh, well, let's see what happens. And who she is, why she's here, who played out? where she's from. All questions we need answered, which we can't while we are under attack. I will go to Sindel, convince her to withdraw from Earthrealm by showing her how history is being manipulated. That will require revealing to her your prior role as Keeper of Time. The situation gives me no choice. I will need your help, Gears, to prove my claims to the Empress. So basically, his, his universe... Oh, Lee May. She's the freaking cop. So, in, the, in this universe, is being invaded by another universe, and he didn't, know the, he didn't even know the other universe or multiverse existed. So maybe if he had known the other multiverse existed, he never would have given up any of his powers. But he assumed that he was the most powerful entity in this in all of existence. 
So he just decided, I'll give up some of my powers and make it more fair or whatever. But now he's got invaders that are screwing up everything. So now what they're basically saying is, oh, Liu Kang didn't screw anything up. He was doing everything right, but he never knew that there were invaders from other multiverses that could interfere. Okay. <laughs> Return home, Lord Liu Kang. I am to let no one pass. I must see Her Majesty. She must call off her attack on Earthrealm. Her decision was unwise, but she no longer seeks my counsel, and I doubt she's interested in yours. The Empress has been deceived. Shang Tsung and General Shao have fomented this crisis as a means to steal her throne. General Shao? I knew he was hiding his true intentions. But join Shang Tsung? Ugh. I knew he couldn't be trusted. Were I still Umgadi, he would never have breathed the same air as the Empress. My palace sources told me he arrived out of nowhere and immediately had the Empress's ear. He gained her trust by treating Princess Melina's condition. Tragically, she is afflicted with Tarkat disease. Tarkat? <gasps> the Empress must be beside herself. If Shang Tsung found a treatment, no wonder she embraced him. I have shared this with no one. I trust that you, of all people, will keep this secret. Of course. Were it made public, it would bring down the royal family. Li Mei, Empress Sindel needs our help. Will you join me? Emperor Jared's death, the pain it caused Empress Sindel, has always haunted me. I failed the royal family once. I won't do so again. So I'll fight you! Fuck this! Yes, every character in this game is from one of the 2000s Mortal Kombat's. There's literally zero new characters Everything in this game. Now They're all sense. from previous games. My Umgadi contacts had said the general soldiers had been encroaching. But still, I can't fathom it. General Shao committing treason? It is the fruit <clears throat> of a poisonous seed planted by Shang Tsung. He played to the general's vanity, he inflamed his prejudices to convince him that he alone can save our world. He may be unstoppable. The Umgadi don't have numbers, and my constables aren't trained for war. Know that I, too, will aid in the Empress's defense. Savage Shude, good to see you here. He says, sadly, he still doesn't feel very well. Just wanted to pop in and say uh, hello. He's excited for Liza P. Good to see you here, Savage Shude. And Big Larry Gaming, thank you for re-upping your membership. How are you liking the story so far? Well, let me put it this way. I'm enjoying it. I am. But... The twist we just got in the plot, I don't like. That doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the story will suck. It just means I do feel like the whole multiverse thing is played out. And it seems like that's the route they're taking here. I don't like that. That's like a cop-out of, what is everyone else doing? Multiverse. Let's just do our own. Like, uh... Don't really like that. But it is what it is. Let's see. Uh, Carlton Jr. says, Surprised I didn't bring back Taven, a big part of the 2000s Mortal Kombat. Yeah, again, what's funny, I actually saw someone on... You know, there's memes and stuff on social media for, about this game. And it's like, so let me get this straight. They decided to do a second reboot of Mortal Kombat. They literally could have done anything they wanted because everything's been reset by Liu Kang and all they did was bring back all the same characters. Like, yeah, that is kind of lame, isn't it? They should have at least added someone new into the game. For me, some of these characters are new. Like, I don't know half of these new character new characters because I've never played the 2000s Mortal Kombat, but as I was saying this morning on my podcast, I feel what they wanted to do with this one. They wanted to make it fan service for those who were uh, big fans of Mortal Kombat during the 2000s. You know, the Deadly Alliance, um, Deception, and uh, Armageddon. Those games, which were huge games for NetherRealm, or for Midway, and, and, and at that time, they weren't NetherRealm yet. They want to basically cater to that audience now. You see, I feel like that's why they're doing that. So, there you go. Um, just like the original trilogy, 9, 10, and 11, seemed to cater towards those who were fans of Mortal Kombat in the 1990s. So this is now a new plot line, continuing with these other characters that seem to have been forgotten in the last three games. So I kind of understand why they're doing it, but man, they sh I, feel like, I do feel like now they should have added in some new characters, you know? Just to have the same ones coming back over and over, I don't know. Alright, we've got a few more minutes, guys. We actually do have to adjourn. But, um, <clears throat> let's, uh, oh, Big Larry Gaming did a super chat. He says, I want to save chat from I Suck Toes. Well, there you go. Thank you, Big Larry Gaming. Uh, last chance if anyone did want to contribute tonight. We only have a few more minutes on the stream before we adjourn. But this will continue 
tomorrow on the daytime stream and likely we'll be wrapping up the story tomorrow I'm thinking we'll see okay all right let's continue driver what is it I may need that aid right now <laughs> oh boy they're all here Return Liu Kang to the portal gate, Li Mei. He isn't welcome in Outworld. I won't support the general, Reiko, nor his plot to usurp the throne. Then you won't live to see the new regime. Oh, nice! And if Liu Kang hadn't given up power, none of this would be happening. They have us surrounded. I am Earthrealm's protector, Li Mei. I am no stranger to combat. Then let's get out there. You should have joined us, not the constabulary. We could have used your Ungari skills. Enough. I've no use for a traitor's compliments. Fight. So, I have no idea how to play with her. I did not use her in the beta at all. So, these are going to be all new moves to me. Nova Blast sounds like a projectile. Sky Lantern is when she sends that lantern out, but I don't even know what it does. She Z Lion. I guess that's with the lion move that comes out. I was right. It was a lion. Chain Reaction. Air Flipping Heel Kick. This move is ridiculous. This Air Flipping Heel Kick seems to be like crazy good. Yeah, look. I think if you, if you oh, oh, oh god. Yep, so there's that. Oh shit! That's an anti in yeah. yeah. jumping back trying to say jumping back. You can only do jumping forward. No, you can do jumping back too. I thought Shao's soldiers were better trained. Terrible answer. I think I, did. I, I, did. I knocked him into it for bonus games. What the hell was that? Oh, look at that move. Oh, shit. She's got a drop kick. Yeah, it's a drop kick that instantly knocks down. Huh. Oh, any of her combos at all. That fucking throw shit. I'm trying to... What the hell is this? Did you hit kick combo? What the fuck's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> you and your accomplices will face judgment, Reiko. We must leave. Reinforcements will be on the way. <laughs> Nobody saw anything. So they're already going to overthrow. They probably already have the plans in place to overthrow the, you know, Sindel. That chameleon? That's chameleon. Word of his arrival precedes you. Surrender if you wish to remain unharmed. Let us pass, Tanya. The Empress and her family are in danger. He brings word that Shang Tsung and General Shao plot against them. The General? Are you so easily taken in by lies? Once again, you prove incapable of protecting the royal house. Wow. They're never gonna let her forget that shit, are they? Oh, that's just go forward. That's literally just hold forward and okay. kick. Whoa. There's the lantern. Oh, okay. You'll you launch right into it. How do I do that launcher? 
How the fuck did I do it? I have no idea how I did it. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. I don't have to look combos up. I can't figure out any combos with her at all. She has, like, not very many good ones, actually. That's probably why. What the hell? Did that work? That worked. What the fuck? How did I do that? Oh, it's back. Oh, back to the circle. Oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out the combo. I can't figure it out. I'm sorry you made that necessary. Priestesses. They're not going to listen. You know who I am, of my deeds when I was one of you. I may no longer be welcome, but in my heart, I am still Umgadi. Kill her! I will <laughs> honor my vows. He's here to end a threat to the Empress. Stand against us, and she will lose the throne. Stand with us, and we will save the Empire. Why didn't you kill me? Because we mean you no harm. And that you live will help prove that fact to the Empress. Probably after this segment, we'll adjourn for the night. See what happens. How dare you leave me? <laughs> it's not enough that you let Jared be murdered. You let Liu Kang destroy the rest of my family? My heart broke when your husband died. I lost not only my emperor, but you, my closest friend. I know you may never forgive me. But don't be blinded by anger and grief. Mm -hmm. We are here to help you. Oh! Bitch! No, daughter. Your condition. Well, yeah, you beat her ass when her hands are tied. Your faithlessness astounds, Li Mei. How can you side with Earthrealm against us? I'm acting for your family's benefit and for Outworlds. If you took a moment, you'd realize it. Fight! God damn it. The timing is weird for the air combo. See, I dare so if I did meter burn, I could probably keep comboing that thing. Yup, look at that. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> keep spinning and flipping. Your Highness, keep doing it. You fight the wrong battle. Oh look, they're fighting shit in the back, guys, dude. But you can't combo, that's the finisher, because if you do that, the combo ends. Okay. So maybe you don't want to do that, you do two hits, you land you another combo after, maybe. You must be smarter. I'm pretty sure Lee May is really good. Everyone in the beta no, said she was like the best character in the I beta. It. I must. If I won't risk my life for the throne, I'm not worthy of it. <laughs> well, now she's gonna mutate. I remember teaching you that, princess. You were but a girl. 
That was long ago. Much has changed. My loyalty to your family hasn't. Trust me now as you did then. Please, Princess, just listen. We shouldn't fight. Oh, wow, that was fast. That's your mom. Forgive me, Princess, but I won't allow you to hurt yourself or anyone else. Fight. so fast it's weird because certain characters you don't have to do it fast for her you have to do it fast Ugh. yeah oh i have to mess with her again in training mode to get her combo it's very weird that's a combo finisher also her air kick is a combo but like what am i trying to do to complete a combo that's a very basic combo there but what do i do is there a different launcher and that's a double launcher? Yeah, see, like maybe I do that. I can counter it, of course. She can't, yeah, she looks like she can't recover in time to do that with a combo. She only has two hits there. Yeah, I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, wait a minute! That's a two hit fireball? Okay. Yeah! So you do a standard combo into the meter burn fireball, then you can re juggle after that all. into a giant air combo. Okay. Now I'm probably done playing with her. I figured that out, right? More serum. If they could just give it to her at any time, why do they need Shang Tsung to give it to her in his laboratory? <laughs> Praise Argus. Thank you. I am in your debt. No, your majesty. There can be no debt between friends. I am glad she is safe and that our conflict has ended. It is paused, not ended. Li Mei has earned my goodwill. Whether you do remains to be seen. I seek only peace, your majesty. Is that why you send minions on secret missions into my empire? You've proved yourself the enemy I was long warned you would be. I understand your anger, but I had reason to believe that Shang Tsung posed a threat to both of us. Until I confirm them, I did not want to burden you with my suspicions. And now? They have proven true. Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, the General. They conspire to conquer our realms. A serious charge. Where is your proof? At Shang Tsung's laboratory. If what you see there does not convince you, I will surrender Earthrealm without a fight. They go there and completely cleaned. There's no evidence of anything. Oh, never mind. <laughs> How could I have so misjudged that? Oops, never mind. For Shang Tsung to indulge in such depravity. For General Shao to condone it. They are not the men I thought them. Despite my best efforts, neither man nor Quan Chi are who they were meant to be. They're not your responsibility. Uh, well, now he's gonna spill the beans. But it is I who crafted their destinies, along with those of all other beings, at the dawn of history. You created the realms. I is your mind addled, demigod? 
I am a mere demigod now. But eons ago, I was more powerful than all of the Elder Gods combined. I was a Titan, and the Keeper of Time. Play that beautiful stock footage. This is Gears. Your Majesty. Your Highnesses. Gyrus is the guardian of the Hourglass, a celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The Hourglass regulates time and destiny. When I wielded its power, it was upon me to craft all of existence, which I did when I restarted history. Restarted? This timeline was preceded by billions more. Though this is the first of Liu Kang's design, the others were designed by his predecessor. Kronika was obsessed with equalizing good and evil. When a timeline veered too far to one or the other, she would halt it and restart history, tinkering with lives and events in the hope of achieving her golden balance. Prior timeline. Kronika gave Shang Tsung and Quan Chi mastery of the most vile magics. Shao is not a general, a tyrannical ruler bent on conquest. You sit there, where his ruthless wife, who would do you weren't Asian in that timeline either for some reason. Image. When I took the hourglass from Kronika, I vowed to do better. So in this timeline, the sorcerers would not gain their dark powers. Shao would be your loyal follower, and you would rule Outworld firmly, but fairly. But someone has interfered with Liu Kang's design. Shao, Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, all have been groomed by an unknown entity to be the villains they were in previous timelines. Where to begin? Am I to kneel to my creator? Do you expect worship? No, your majesty. My prior role was thrust upon me by circumstance. I am in no way divine. You had power over all of creation, yet you gave it up. Yes, I am very stupid. Because I saw how it drove <laughs> Kronika mad. <clears throat> I knew I would fare no better had I kept it. Basically, everything's your fault. Thanks, Liu Kang. Stupid idiot. You. How dare you conspire against Outworld? Not against Outworld, but against your misguided rule. Your deference to him leaves us all vassals. So you sanction these unspeakable horrors? Lie to me about the threats we face? Thanks to you, Earthrealm blood is already on my hands. Bloodshed, without cause or provocation. Don't move. Empress, everyone. What does he got? Stay back. What is it? The amulet of Shinnok, a weapon of Oh my god, Shinnok too? It should not exist. It's an elder god. His maker is powerless, as Liu Kang designed. Right. Yet more proof of foreign interference. So and they got Shinnok's amulet from another universe, because Shinnok doesn't exist in this universe. But he's an elder god that exists in a different one. A different multiverse, that is. You both bend to me to Outworld's new emperor. Put down the amulet. Its evil is beyond your control. <laughs> do you think I do battle, not train with my weapons? I am more than prepared. Oh great! Oops. <laughs> Oops, well, half the cast just got eliminated. Whoopsie. So General Shao casts his lot without the guy in the background. Me. He's a fool to ally with you blood sucking feet. This is great. Fight. The guy in the background, he's saying, to like, Oh, is anyone ever going to help me? I've been back here the whole game, you know. You know I'm here. It's been revealed multiple times. Can you please let me down for God's sakes, you sick fuck? <laughs> He's just watching. He's like, come on, man. You know how bad I had to scratch my ass all this time and I'm still fucking stuck here? <laughs> all right. Anyway. 
Oh my. <laughs> Someone just said, yo, Sindel has a hairball attack. You're right. It's called low hairball. <laughs> she goes, bleh, 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 bleh. she throws the hairball at you like a cat. Anyway. All right, guys, this is a good place to adjourn today's session of Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, pretty, I mean, I like the story. I mean, the whole multiverse thing is kind of a cop-out, in my opinion, because so many places have done it before. But I am enjoying the story. I hope you guys are, too. And, uh, you know, I'm doing as best I can. You know, when they're just tossing characters uh, at you like this, it's very hard to, to learn them. I'm trying on the fly to learn basics of each character. Some of them I've done better than others. I would say so far... Probably, like I said, Baraka is probably my favorite character. Uh, Reptile seemed all right. Uh, Scorpion kind of seemed all right. Maybe, maybe Lee May. I would actually try to Lin May, Lee May. I can't remember her name. Um, but some of them, like I probably wouldn't. I would probably don't want to play with Sub Zero. Oh, I liked Raiden too. I didn't really like Sub Zero or Kung Lao. I didn't like Johnny Cage. So it's kind of like, yeah, maybe like half and half. Uh, I've liked and half I haven't liked. But so far, I do like the story mode. And as you know, we're more than halfway through it now. So with another three hours tomorrow on my daytime stream, I definitely think we will wrap it up. Um, so thanks. Anyone here who watched today, thank you very much. For those who watched on demand after the fact, thank you. Remember, please, if you're enjoying this playthrough, please continue to like the videos and leave some comments on there for engagement. That helps a ton. And uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. And uh, continue on and wrap it up. I think you unlock characters when you beat it. And then after that, of course, there's other offline content we'll check out as well. But so far, I do like the story. I think that the story is interesting to see the characters in these different roles and miraculously change races like Sindel did. It's kind of interesting. Uh, and I'm having a good time with it. I hope you are too. Um, until tomorrow. All right, guys. Peace out. Have a good night. See you then. And I'll see you in the next part if you're watching this on demand on YouTube. Peace out.